Hey, good morning, guys. It's me, Callie. Waking up at the nest this morning. We had a lot of snow and ice last night, so I'm going to start the day with a cup of coffee and see what it holds. This is what it's looking at outside. We've had snow and ice for the last two days, but it's supposed to be 45 degrees today. So let's see how that works out. Let's feed the birdies. I don't know if you've ever heard about these guys. The band is called Walk Off the Earth. One of my favorites. They're amazing. They're out of Canada and they do amazing covers as well as originals. Um, this is just one member of the group, but she just covered um, Elisa Kara's Scars to Your Beautiful. And it's great. The light that shines within. There's a hope that's waiting for you in the dark. You should know you're beautiful just the way you are. You don't have to change a thing. The world can change its heart. No scars to your beautiful. We're stars and we're beautiful. Okay guys, today's card is the Six of Swords, and swords are associated with the direction of east and the element of air. They represent the intellect and powers of the mind, um, action and power, and this is kind of, um, you know, leaving your troubles behind, moving on. Um, you could see there's figures in the water. Um, yeah, let's see what the book says. So I'll pull it out. And I already marked the spot. So the Six of Swords represents physical movement, travel or journey across water, passage, the future will be better, success after anxieties, leaving sorrows behind, a difficult cycle coming to an end, healing will begin. Silence, secrets, new beginnings, obstacles overcome, expedient, commissionary, a smooth passage from difficulties, new knowledge that helps one to move beyond current limitations. Okay, well, you know what? Here's to better days and today's better than yesterday and not as good as tomorrow, right? 
Hope so for you, too. Okay, guys, I got, just got dressed. Open the curtains in here. It's so dark when they're closed. And speaking of curtains, I'm going to be breaking out my uh, material stash. And I want to make two, well, actually four long panels to cover the brown drapes in the windows there. And just do like a hodgepodge of gypsy material and make some gypsy curtains. But I've been thinking about that for about a year. We'll see how how that comes along. But um, yeah, I wanted to look at this. There sits the exercise ball. Um, I haven't been on it in over a week. How are you guys doing with your New Year's intentions, resolutions? Um, I need to pull it out in the living room so I'm running into it to remind me to get my butt on it. But anyway, life is good. I'm not sure, you know, I'm already thinking about lunch. I'm not sure what we're going to make today. Um, I have some leftover Indian food. So maybe we'll have some of that, although I could be having that for dinner tonight uh, with Mr. Tom. But And you know what else, you guys? I was thinking, would you be interested in me doing an updated bookshelf tour? I have this big one out here. And then I have uh, my two in the bedroom. I have an old tour that I did, but it's real shaky and poorly filmed, and it was pre Kanmari, so I um, actually have some over there too. Let me know if you'd be interested in something like that. Yeah, and for those of you who are friends with me on Facebook, and I'll leave a link below if you're not, yay, I pulled the chair out. So we got the purple down. And I just yesterday put on the first coat of this blue here. And what I'm doing is, this is a chair that I did a year ago. All right. So I'm using the same colors, but in opposite placement. So if that's got the blue on the outside, this has the purple on the outside. See what I'm saying? And the seat is some material that I have, speaking of material, and I just decoupaged it to the chair. So I'm doing the opposite color scheme. And, you know, it doesn't look like it's all that complicated, but it's a pain, you know, it's painstaking. Let's say that, um, you know, you have to tape it and waiting in between layers. And, you know, I'm not the most patient person in the world. So as I started doing it, I realized why I've been waiting so long. But I'll be happy when it's done. And that's the way it is for me. I, uh have things hang over my head for a long time before I, I tackle them, but I do eventually tackle them. So I'm taking you on around the, uh, we round and around in the wheelchair. Okay. Chair. I wanted to show you the chair. What else I want to show you? Oh, body butter. Yeah. Did you guys like my body butter bar? Vi happy hippie body butter bar video that I posted yesterday. Um, I have, Let's see. Oh, God. I don't know what my refrigerator looks like right now. Uh, da, 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 da. I put these in. These are the ones that we poured yesterday. They're definitely ready to pop out. Um, and I had pre-made some for the video's sake. So, yeah, you guys, did you like them? They smell amazing. Look how easy these pop out here. I'm going to try to do this with one hand. She says... Doo -doo. Yeah, that's how easy they come out of the molds. And I neglected to sh show that in the video, but I'm thinking it was pretty self-explanatory. What do you think? Oh, yeah. These are great. So, highly recommend it. Check out the video if you have not yet done that. So, I'm going to unmold these. And what else are we going to do? Yeah, I have... I just said that. I have leftover Indian food, so... I don't know. Would you guys be interested? I made, oh, hello in the microwave. I made some uh, roti, which is Indian bread, for the very first time when I made my Indian food. So, I don't know. Should I make that again? Maybe just to show you guys. And then I'll save some of the dough for later for Tom and I. Maybe I'll do that. All right. I don't know. And... I, it's probably going to be another hour-long video, right? Let's see. Maybe I'll just have leftovers. I don't know. I don't know. Let me uh, try to figure it out. It's warming up outside there, guys. 
uh, everything's starting to melt. We'll see in a few minutes. Here they are unmolded, and I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, fellow witchy sister Margaret Driscoll. You guys, I've given her a shout out before. She sent me those amazing body butters and the pendulum, etc. Um, I'll put her link below. She answered my question about storage of shea butter and my cocoa butters and stuff. So thank you, sister. Um, she recommended, yes, putting them in the refrigerator, not the freezer. And uh, I appreciate it. So go check her out. She's got a cool shop on Etsy, too, where she sells soaps and all kinds of um, oils and magical goodies. So thanks, Margaret. You know, we always have to say good morning to the window. And I'll show you an update on how the celery is doing. I put it in some dirt. And for those of you who don't know, I have a passion for marbles. So I put them on top of the dirt. And it's doing quite happily. And then down here, I have the scallions or the green onions. And they're also in some dirt. So I need some more room. Uh, my grandson was over this weekend. He spent the night and. Hello, Ellie and Craven. And um, he mentioned to me, I'm trying to take you slow, that he can't wait for spring because all of the plants here are starting to take over the living room. And I had to agree with him. Although I was out last week with my dear friend Sylvia and Steve. Shout out to Steve. It's music. Um, and I said, ah, oh, something like I can't wait till spring. And Sylvia said, don't you rush my life away. And you know what? She's right. So thankful for every day, every minute. You never know. Um, that's my philosophy for the morning. Okay, guys. When I made the roti the other night, I used a recipe that called for mashed potatoes. I honestly don't feel like going through all that work right now. So I'm just going to use this one from the cheapvegetarian.com. Super simple. It's just flour, vegetable oil, salt, and water. And let me gather this together, and I'll show you how we're going to do it. Okay, this recipe couldn't be any simpler. Um, I've just measured out two cups of unbleached flour. Put it. In, I put it in the bowl already. This is a cup of warm water, and I have some olive oil here. I'm going to measure in two tablespoons of olive oil right into the water. And we're also going to mix in one teaspoon of, I have some Celtic sea salt, use whatever you have. All right, and I'm just going to give that a good stir. And all I'm going to do, my hands are nice and clean here, is add this water to the flour a little bit at a time. Make a little well here in the center. And I have a whisk for now, but I'm going to keep adding it and incorporating it until we make a stiff dough. All right. And then, once we get that going, we're actually going to knead it for 5 to 10 minutes. Now, I have a fancy KitchenAid mixer, and I also have a coffee pot that dings, um, that has a bread hook that I could use, but I'm not going to do it. I'm going to use my hands, but you can see how this comes together. All right, so I'm just going to continue to mix this, and I'm going to get my hands in there. Might as well dump the rest of that. And knead it for about, the recipe says, five to ten minutes. Okay, so I'm going to do that, and I'll come back, and I'll show you once I get all this out of the whisk and I'm going to get in there and just knead it, which, you know, mush it back and forth, I'll show you what the dough's looking like. Okay, I'm making some progress here. Um, I honestly had to add probably another quarter cup of flour to make this really come together. 
it was really sticky so I'm happy with it now um, you can see it's kind of holding itself together and all I'm going to do is take some more flour and throw it out here on this so put some wax paper down and I probably should take my rings off but I'm not going to and we'll just plop that down and I'm going to need this for about five to ten minutes okay so just kind of punch it down and push it around and play with it all right and really have a go at it and I will see you back here when that's done and then we're going to cover it with a damp cloth and let it rise and we'll be making roti see you in a minute okay I needed this for about five minutes or so and I just lightly oiled this bowl here and coated this slightly and we're gonna let it sit covered I have a damp clean cloth and I'm just gonna cover this we're gonna leave it at room temperature and leave it alone for an hour and I'll see you back here in an hour with a heated up cast iron skillet dry okay so I didn't meet you at the cast iron frying pan it's still rising but I thought I would say hello hello it's 2 30 in the afternoon and I haven't said hello properly so properly hello I hope you're having a beautiful day um, I'm so thankful for you guys if I don't say that enough I want you to know and welcome new subbies and all that stuff but um, every day more and more I'm so enriched by all of you so if I haven't said it enough lately I love you guys very much and thank you for being here and spending this time with me I'm so glad we have this time together um oh before I forget I wanted to here's one of the body butter bars happy hippie body butter bars I don't want to keep going back to this but I've had a couple questions I did write in the description bar the recipe um, and how to use them but in case you're wondering they stay solid at room temperature but if you just glide them on your skin they kind of liquefy a little bit and you can just rub them in so it's as simple as that um, if you have dry cracked heels or your elbows or I use them all over so I would not use them on your face because they do contain essential oils but if you don't have any sensitivities go for it so that's how you use them and ever since I've been making these I've just been so hydrated and speaking of hydrated let me have a sip here <clears throat> excuse me I still have a little bit of a scratchy throat nothing major or anything um, isn't that fascinating so I think in the meantime maybe I'll wait till after we cook but I do want to finish up the chair today or at least mostly finish it up so that's on the agenda Tom is working right now we're gonna gather together later on I'll probably have Indian food again for dinner tonight I'll be thoroughly sick of it um, give me ideas if you guys have any requests of recipes or things you'd like to see me make or veganize let me know um, with the exception of like dessert items and things like that you know I'm not a sweet girl um, but anything else I'm you know I tend to make the same things over and over again so let me know if you have any thoughts or requests and I have not really a lot to haul for you or show you that I've gotten this week which is probably a good thing um, but one thing that I do want to share with you that I was really blown away by um, I talk about my heart son Nick my stepson my heart son Tom son Nick who has been a huge blessing in my life and continues to be so he's a wonderful young man and he's going to college full-time now as well as working full-time and he's super sweet and super generous and I love you Nicholas um, he got me I couldn't even believe it a brand new phone so this was like a late Christmas gift um, I'm blown away I haven't even set this up yet um, right now I have it actually I'm filming on the one I have now Samsung Galaxy 5 I believe apparently this is supposed to be better than the seven or I don't know sorry for the glare but hello you know what a blessing children turn out to be you know and not just because of that but I couldn't even believe it you know watching them I've known Nicholas now he'll be 18 I've known him since he's 13 
Um, actually, Tom and I have officially been together. I told you we met 25 years ago, but we've been back together again. Uh, it'll be four years on the 29th of this month. So uh, part of that coming back together has been uh, the blessing of Nicholas. So Tom and his ex-wife did an amazing job raising this outstanding young man. And I have him in my heart as well as my kids and grandkids and so blessed. So anyway, hello. Isn't that great? I wanted to share that with you. And he assures me that the camera is much better than the one I'm currently using. So Tom's going to help me switch everything over and get that all set up. So probably by next week, I'll be using that for my vlogs. So yeah, hello. And the only other thing I got from good old Amazon, and I think I am going to go ahead and try to sign up for their affiliate program <clears throat> because I do so much shopping on Amazon and I do so much recommending on Amazon, but um, I got some well bond glue. You can never have enough glue. Um, I was inspired to get this by, it could have even been the unruly housewife again. Somebody was working with polymer clay and they used well bond glue. Uh, maybe Teresa Salgado Pandora. Is that her name? She's another one that I watch. And shout out to all you guys. Um, and also, you can never have enough E6000, right? I use this. I go through it like toothpaste. So that's really good. And also, I wanted to tell you guys, I know this is so thrilling, but I've decided to start, I talked about for my goddess provision box videos, how I'll be kind of reviewing the previous month's box with the next box. I'm going to start that this month. So I've started saving the empties that I'm using. So I decided I might as well just save all my other empties, jump on the bandwagon for YouTube video, empty videos, um, and share with you if I have enough monthly to share of just things that I'm using on a regular basis and stuff like that. So that's something you guys can really look forward to as well. And what else am I doing? Um, Gypsy and Witch, we've put out a feelers to the group for our new upcoming theme for the month of February. That's exciting. I'll be having a new Dice and Deal challenge on, uh, depending, well, let's say the first week of February. I'm going to shoot for earlier in the month than later. Um, and In Bulk is right around the corner. Blessings of In Bulk. Spring is here. It's coming. It's coming in spite of all the snow on the ground. Um... Yeah, so good things are happening, and I think that's all I have to catch up with you about. Let me do some... I'm not going to paint right now. I'll paint after I eat with you guys, um, but I'm going to do a little editing right now. Oh, and pet peeve. Hello. I've talked about this before. The YouTube editor. It certainly can't be my error. My video, I upload directly from my phone, that's what I use to film on, obviously, to the YouTube editor, right? All of my settings are always on private. Somehow, the glitch fairy in the universe occasionally will make a random clip public. And it happened to me making the body butter bars. It's like this random 15 second clip of me melting something or something. It drives me crazy. So now I'm like paranoid. Every time I upload a clip, I have to run over to the, you know, check on the computer and make sure it's not public. And it's happened twice today. So I know first world problems, right? Let this be the worst of my problems. Um, I'm looking at my guitar right here. I have not been playing that at all. Um, things come and go, right? I still have visions of seeds on the mind. I have to do some, um, house plant repotting again. Things are just going crazy in here. So is that all I have to catch up on? Who knows? That's all I could think of for right now. I love you guys. I'll see you next. I will see you at the, at the stove. We'll heat up. We're going to do a dry frying pan. I've said that before, but no oil in it. And we're just going to roll out the, you know, cut off a little piece of dough, roll them out with the rolling pin, throw them in the frying pan. Right now I'm heating up the uh, curry that I made, which I'll show you. I say curry. I don't know what it is. It's a mishmash of how I make things. It's basically I cooked um, onion and garlic and I mixed curry powder, chili powder, garam masala, cumin, coriander, salt, pepper, 
red hot chili flakes. Did I mention garlic? Um, I mixed all that together. I added a half a can of crushed red tomatoes. I added a couple jars of that homemade vegetable broth. About a cup of lentils, red lentils. Four or five potatoes. You know I don't measure anything. A big carrot that I cut up, sliced up. A can of chickpeas. Um, a head of cauliflower. And I think that's it. And I cooked it up, and it's amazing, of course. So, oh, and I threw in, right at the end, I threw in frozen peas. So, that's what we're going to have. And I'll show you that. Um, this is, I made it two days ago, so whatever we don't eat tonight is going in the freezer. Because, of course, I cooked enough for an army. So, I'm going to stop talking right now. I've had a few cups of coffee, can you tell? See at the stove. Okay, there's our skillet heating up. It's nice and hot. And there's the curry I was talking about. I'll show you that. I also have a pot of basmati rice cooking right now. And let's see. I'll show you what's in here. Yeah, you guys, it's like just a big stoop of deliciousness. And it's already like broken down. The potatoes are nice and starchy and the gravy's nice and thick. The lentils thicken up. It's just amazing. So, um, oh, I also forgot to tell you, I put turmeric and ginger in as well. So that's that. We'll let that sit. I'm waiting for the rice to heat up. So let's roll out our roti. Um, I'll flour up some counter space and we'll get rolling. Okay, here's our dough. And I've laid out some wax paper and flour. And I'm just going to take this out, and we're only going to pinch off about this much. Okay, not much at all. And I'm just going to roll it. I've put a little flour down. Actually, I put this back in the bowl. Are you guys seeing me? And we're just going to roll it out really thin. doesn't have to be perfect. You can make these as big as you want. The idea is, you know, it's a flatbread. I could actually use some more flour on my rolling pin. Of course, it's going to act up because I'm filming, but you get the idea, right? And then... Once you have it rolled out to your desired thinness, we are going to go over to our frying pan. Pretend you're making a pizza. And I actually could have gone a little bit bigger with this, but that's all right. You get the idea. We're going to go over to our frying pan, and I'll turn the camera around and show you. Okay, guys, all we're going to do is throw it in our pan pan and try not to burn our fingers like how round it is of course the other night when I made them they were perfect right but just showing off for you guys um, I would say this is a medium high heat I mean my skillet's been heating up for a while but I'm gonna cook it for about two minutes per side and then it's gonna be ready to eat so I'll see you back here when I'm okay let's flipping. flip it You want it to have those brown, you know, crispy marks on there. So another two minutes and I'll, pr I'll prep everything and we'll be done. Okay, we're all done here. Let me plate up the rice and the curry and I'll come back for a bite. Okay, guys, here you have it. It's steaming hot and it's going to be delicious. I wish I had a table high enough to show you guys, but let's get a little bit of everything in here. This is cooked so much that not only have the potatoes all broken down, but the cauliflower has too. So good. The only thing missing was cilantro. 
I've been without it for weeks now. Mmm. Mmm. So good. Uh, scoop. Just to taste it. Mmm. <laughs> So good, so delicious, so easy, right? Just like a tortilla or any other fl flatbread. It's a very basic recipe. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Yum. Okay, I'm going to finish eating. And when I'm finished eating, I'm going to finish painting upload this video for you guys. Thanks for hanging out with me again. I love you all dearly. You rock. Peace and love and many blessings. And I'll see you soon. Who knows with what? I don't know. Anything's possible. Take care, guys. Love you.